thing can travel faster than the speed of light is now being challenged by scientists in Switzerland. Amid all the mysteries of the universe, one thing has long seemed certain. As Albert Einstein explained a century ago, nothing can go faster than light. In his famous equation, C stands for the speed of light, key to the connection between energy and matter. Well, now, there's a very big shock. In an underground laboratory in Italy, researchers can't quite believe what they've been seeing. Evidence of tiny particles travelling faster than light. It's just not meant to happen. Uh, we uh, present to you today this uh, discrepancy, this anomaly. This afternoon, in a webcast, and rather cautiously, the scientists revealed their findings. A mass of data which they want other researchers to check, because what's been found is so astounding. What's so extraordinary about these findings is that they appear to challenge our understanding of how the universe works. The results come from a bizarre experiment underground in Europe. From the physics lab at CERN in Geneva, scientists have been firing tiny particles known as neutrinos through the rock all the way to another lab at Grand Sasso in Italy, more than 400 miles away. Until now, nothing has travelled faster than light. That's been a constant feature of modern physics. But the neutrinos fired to Italy reached it very slightly faster than expected, a fraction of a second quicker than light. The measurements could be wrong, or there's some unknown factor at work, or this will revolutionise physics. The results, analysed at the lab at CERN, have triggered a wave of reaction. Some scientists say they just can't be right. Others want everything checked very thoroughly. All scientists by nature are sceptical. But if this is proven to be correct, a big if, if this is proven, then this will revolutionise all of the physics that we understand so far. And it will change all of the textbooks and it will have all sorts of potential applications in terms of energy production and things like that. So did Einstein get it wrong? His theory of special relativity has stood unchallenged for a century. But science does have a habit of challenging established ideas. A great flare rises from the sun. Its light will reach us in eight minutes. Scientists have long believed you simply can't travel faster. Tonight, they're no longer quite so sure. And the experiment.